Right, next up is our shoulder positioning basics. So most people don't realize that they can move their shoulders independently and not just moving your hands at the same time. So you get elevation, depression, retraction, and protraction. So you got four ways and maybe you can do two at the same time. Go on your diagonals. So the way to think about your calisthenics exercises, your shoulders should be kind of fighting gravity. So you're in a push-up position. So we're not dropping down, that's going with gravity. So we're fighting that. So we're pushing our shoulders down and back up away. So that's the position we're going to do our push-up in. So if we go to the row position, so we're on our back. So we want to start, hold our shoulders down, and then we're in position to do our roll. So let's go to the pull up. We're here, we want to fight gravity, so pull the shoulders down away, and then we do our pull up. Handstand, and pipe push ups. Again, fighting gravity, so we're shoulders down and pushing up away. So if you're doing dips or L sit, you're in this position, so you don't want to be slouching down here. You want the shoulders down, up, and away. So that's the simple way to think of your shoulder positionings when you're doing your exercises. So if you haven't really tried to do this before, you can just try and roll your shoulders around. You go rolling back, let's do five this way, and five forward, maybe three sets of five. If that's all right, you can start to put a little pressure on in the push-up position. So we can push up and go back, down and forward, like around in a kind of square. So that'd be a bit more advanced. Try and get some strength in there. So the more we can move these, the more strength we have in the shoulders, the stronger we are in our calisthenics exercises then. So give those a go.